When a cowboy's hat takes a bullet in Hollywood, it takes flight like a startled bird. Does the science stack up, or are those hats flying in the face of physics? Our own Butch and Sundance aim to find out. Are you ready? And as we know, the Mythbusters always feel right at home on the range. What happened? He must be Frank. That's my name. Frank Tabor is a Wild West firearms aficionado. Good morning. Hey, Frank's wagon contains an arsenal of archaic weapons. Okay. This is a 4440 Colt. This is an 1888 manufacturer Smith & Wesson top brake. This is a Colt Pump Lightning. This one's about 1900. Has anyone ever shot your hat off? One time I was at a competition and my hat blew down range and everybody online shot it to pieces. <laughs> Just blew it up. Frank is what so many options for us, from long rounds, short rounds, black powder, smokeless rifles. Let's do it. Our Hollywood hard guys use handguns, so Adam and Jamie select an 1860 Army Colt revolver. If that doesn't work, they'll try a Winchester lever-action rifle. I love that. The weapons are authentic. The eight target hats match those worn by real cowboys in the real Wild West. Nice high crown. Should be easy to shoot and miss the head. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. That's pretty darn good. All right. You want to take the first shot? Sure. First up, the oldest firearm, the revolver. Range is hot. That was perfect, right through the top. Didn't take it off. No, it cocked it a little bit to the side. The bullet left the muzzle at 750 feet per second. In bullet terms, that's not fast. But it was still fast enough to drill a neat hole straight through the crown. You got a lot of leverage out of that. See, the bullet went in here and tore out through the top. Again, it was moving a lot of material. OK, here comes the Winchester. Nice shot. Look at that, right through the center. That did not budge the hat. It could not be a more perfect shot. The hat didn't take off. But it's way too early to call it busted. This is the Charles Bronson Once Upon a Time in the West hat. You ready? Ready. Range is hot. Hey! You knocked the hat off! Hang on, guys. Let's see the movie footage again. Bullets send these hats sky high. Jamie's shot was slightly less spectacular. Your hit could not have been more perfect. You went through more material of that hat than any of our hits before. You went through the brim, through the brim, through the brim, and through the brim. Yeah, but it kind of like fell off sideways. <laughs> yeah, but if you're the guy wearing this hat and someone shoots at you, you're gonna say he shot my hat off. Spurred on. Find the red lady. Find the red lady, it pays $20. Our gunslingers take pot shots at their whole hat collection. between the eyes. But those brims hardly budge. And the reason is simple. When it strikes the hat, a small projectile traveling at around 1,000 feet per second doesn't encounter enough resistance and rips straight through the material. So the question is, what does it take to flip the lid on this myth? Time to pelt the felt with something a little more powerful. <laughs> now that's more like what we see on the silver screen. All the pellets went in here, all the pellets came out there. The birdshot sprays out at a slower speed, striking a larger surface area. The force is enough to make hat and head part company. And there's one tiny problem. But it doesn't quite leave you able to tell the tale. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> looks like he's got an acne problem right now. <laughs> the dummy's forehead looks like a lunar landscape. Oh, I think that's a record. <laughs> that hat is gone.